The champ is here, and I think she's going to use this non-title match to take some more risks and send a message to the rest of the locker room, guys. Yeah, I'm like, well, that message has to be that this is her title. I'm sure the whole roster is going to be watching the monitors very closely during this match. This match will be one to study for everyone. And we'll see if she's ready for the chaotic style of Alba Fire. And that's what makes Fire such a threat, Saxton. While her offense seems chaotic and frantic, it's actually systematic havoc. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Ooh. There has to be a bit of concern when facing off with someone as fearless as Alba Fire, Corey. How's that going to impact this match? Alba is certainly fearless, Cole, but that can also backfire big time. No pun intended. Her high-risk, high-reward outfits is something that can change the face of a match. And if she makes a mistake, that's a big opportunity for Fire's opponent. Floor Buster! Oh, oh, oh. oh, driving the foot into the jaw. That looks painful. Looking for a little bit of hype on the top. Nobody hope for that one. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. And the threat of Alba Fire neutralized there. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Hurricane Rana. Athleticism. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. How are they gonna hear after this match? Oh, driving the foot into the jaw. Oh, foot right in the throat. Brutal. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Fire scaling the turnbuckles. when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. She's in right now. 
There's no shame. In and she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. superstar she's been on a war path through the women's division she is not back down penny predicament shoulders down she came here to fight not lay down oh she responds with a counter hanging back with their own counter sequence of reversals there for the victory and she gets the shoulders up From the middle rope, taking work and run. Victory roll! Oh. Into the cover! Boom! Thanks for coming. Hope you ended early. And she's able to power out after two. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. There's one thing you would say Shayna Baszler needs to focus on during this matchup. What's it going to be? And please don't say winning. I actually wasn't going to say winning, Cole. I was going to say stamina. Baszler loves to think about the end goal of victory, but sometimes she'll forget it's a marathon, not a sprint. So if she can focus on maintaining a high level of stamina, she'll definitely be better for it. Waiting for it. This one. Evading offense. Reversal on top of reversal. Down with the bulldog. Looking for a high risk move. Up high. Oh, a dying Hurricane Rana. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. She goes. And Baszler had it scouted. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? A town down. Baszler being dismantled. Though I don't see Shayna struggling much longer.
The Queen of Spades showing her power. Yokosuka cover. Looking for the victory. And she breaks the count. She is still in this fight. The superstar is doing it. Down and out moments ago. Back in it now. You have to imagine we're hitting the late stages of this matchup. Who's going to dig deeper at this point? We might just take that extra. She's going for it. Oh, what a kick out. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. Shot in. Got her. She saw it coming. <laughs> Tremendous series of kicks. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Big mistake there, Corey. But she knows that now. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decimal level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Able to avoid. as she proves to be too quick. This is just vicious, nasty stop of the arm. Gets inside the ring. Nasty right hand. Panthers with an insecurity. Crashing to the floor. Shane and Baszler just so skilled. Baszler looking absolutely amazing here. Barely breaking a sweat. Maintaining that focus, keeping her stamina at a high level. Delivered into the barricade. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Suplex. Oof! Raw power from the submission magician, and she's not done yet. Bang! Uh oh, this is just vicious. That should do it right there. And she fights it off. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. <laughs> Got the arm trap, raining down 12-6 elbows, and Baszler. In the leg. Oh my. Wow, look at this. Quite the predicament for her here, but she's able to slip through and reverse the move. Shayna Baszler! Ooh, getting cut down by surprise. Up. 
Load over go. Look at this again one more time. Just ragdolling her opponents. Before one, not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Quick take down there. Going up top. Going for it again. astounding effort pushing through exhaustion to come out on top what a competitor She's trained extensively in MMA, Judo, and wrestling. Yeah, few people know the art of combat inside and out the way Ronda does. And more impressively, she's found no shortage of success in every one of those different arenas she's competed in. That's right, winning fights is just what Ronda Rousey does. Yeah, but she's standing across the way from someone who really finds the word intensity. This isn't just a competition to her. This is a must-win situation, and she won't even consider any other outcome. That's not exactly the type of person you want to get on the wrong side of, which she is. Oops, well measured. Corey, any words of advice for Ronda Rousey in this matchup? What can she do to ensure that she walks away the winner? I'd say go with what works. What I mean by that is Ronda shouldn't try to overthink things or make a change for change's sake. Her background and approach to combat have taken her far already, so she just has to keep trusting those instincts. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Great technique for Rousey. Whip back into the ring. Looking to take flight here. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. job scouting Rousey. Oh, that backfired. Huh? Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. And there was some shoulders down. Two, oh, kicked out. Both competitors 
digging into wells they didn't even know existed. Placed into the corner. Superb technique from Rousey. A stalemate of counters. Sweat on the ground. 
These superstars have toiled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Rousey has her up. Rousey Buster. What breaks the whole thing? Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Good job getting the watch there. Yeah, that could have been bad. Rousey got countered there. Man, this place is jumping. She had it scouted. Oh, what a kick. She saw that one coming. I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt. Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999. Both classics. But the all time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no disqualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. Let's just agree that all of those matches are great. And I want to this one can live up to that same hype, guys. A match like this can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can add anything to the equation. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. 
submission being applied. The STF is applied, and it's breaking it up at the last second. Oh, what a neck breaker. Turning it around with a butterfly suplex. Oh! Ooh, look at her answering that. Reciprocating the initial reversal. She's got the shoulders down. And she kicks out right away. Too early for that. She's staying elusive. Nice drop kick. Top position to be caught in here. Straight and down the throat. She's feeling the hurt here. She's far from being that any of these three women could win this. Being carried out of the knees. Oh, come on, that's enough. Fantastic oh, charm. Here, both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Absolutely, she can end it here. The pen's broken up. Vicious right hand, just brutalizing their opponent. Slingshot, Slingshot in. Slingshot cutter. Ready for opponent? No, she is ready for anything. Raises the shoulder before the one count. Not a very effective pin attempt. Oh, that could have done some serious damage. Look at the platter with a DDT. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Got caught in the jaw with the knee. Crucifix pin applied, rolls through, and around the world we go. I'm getting vertigo. Running interference. Oh my! Quick thinking from Tamina. Oh! Uh oh, watch out! Double Russian leg sweep. She might be in some trouble now. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they're showing us why right now. The pain and punishment it really builds in these type of matches. So stiff headbutt. And Tamina didn't see that coming. Oof, effective drop kick to the face. Bottom right in the button. In for the bottom lariat. What a leg sweep. Look at her 
stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. See it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punch. No! Cross body to the floor. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for your own well-being. And that's some late match offense from Tamina. In the back of Tamina's mind, she has to be thinking about any of this. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. That's gotta be it. Here. She wants it one more time. Oh, stop. 